All right, we're ready to roll. Your wife sent me a pretty funny thing, Rabar, and that was pretty funny. <laughs> I was you. I don't know who it was. It came from no, she wife, sent Barbara. it. I, I knew you. You knew you would like it. Yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> um, yeah. And a happy birthday to Leo Ikovic, right? Is that oh, so, yeah. Leo? Is he on there? Can he hear us? I'm here. here. Yes, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. What are you, thirty? Yeah, well, why don't we say that? I pick a good give or number. take. Give or take. Give or take. <laughs> okay, so to Chaza from yesterday. Tonight we have an exciting daf because we start the assault on on Gibrochts starting tonight. <laughs> the assault on the minig to not eat Gibrochts. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, so yesterday was Machoikas Chama Rameir of Chala. It's taken off from Maisa Sheni, if it could be used for the Dalad Minim and for the Matzah, for the Seder, all right? Then we had two Kashas on Maisa Sheni. Uh, and then uh, and the Maisa Rabba said that, that cha, mes, Matzah that can come from Maisa Sheni, that's also Chala. Um, and then on Omid Beis was why the Matzah of the Taida and the Nazir work with Pesach, they're not meant to be sold and not meant to the carbon. And why we can't learn out from the same psukim as Maisa Sheni and Bikurim. And then a person has to have in mind that if he sold it, I mean, not, not a person, but the guy selling the Lachmi Taida and the uh, Nazir, Rakikim Rikik, of the Nazir, is, is the reason why that works, because he has in his mind, if he doesn't sell them, he'll use them himself for Pesach. So therefore it's considered Lishma. Okay, now we'll start. So we're finished with Matzah, at least temporarily. Now we go back to Mor. Did I leave my Gemara by you? Yes, I see a Gemara right. I was wondering okay. whose article Gemara. Okay, wondering. I'll have to pick it up. Okay, I'll find a different one. Okay. All right. You can always go on Safari. No. Um, okay, so Zokti Mishnah at the top of Lamid Tesamad Aleph. Yeah, so Ve'elu Yiraka, Sha'adam Yaitzim and Yidei Chayvasa Pesach. These are the vegetables that a person could be Yaitzim with on Pesach. Right, so some of these are, it's very difficult not to figure out exactly what the names are. I mean, is this Chazeres is what we, we call Chazeres uh, Mor, no? What we call Mor, meaning uh, the leaves. Romaine, no? I think so. Right, Tamcha, Charchavino, we'll see in the Gemara, Uva Ulshin, Uva Mor, and with Mor. Right? It's now, obviously, there's going to have to be a specific Mara because um, this one, there's only one of them. One of the five is called Mara. When Yoytzman, Ben Lachen, Ben Yivation, and Yoytzman, whether they're moist or whether they're, they're dried out. Avaloy Kvushin, but you can't use them when they're Kavush. Right? Kavush is, uh, they've been soaked. Avaloy Shlukin, and they can't be cooked. Avaloy Muvashalin. Right? Well, Shlukin means. Um, it's really cooked. And then overcooked. means like, what? Well, Shulgan is overcooked, overcooked. Thank you, right. And Mivashala means stam cooked. Now this is a big one right here. There's two words in the Mishnah that get stuck in here. We would start from the Kezayis. And you could combine them to the Kezayis. Right? Meaning you don't have to have a Kezayis of each one, right? The Shir of Mara is a Kezayis. Do you have to, do you, can you have a Kezayis of a combination of all of these. Is it me or does this Mishnah sound like uh, called Nidre? <laughs> I hear it, <perfect. laughs> right, Okay. I can't say I thought of that perspective, but. Uh, well, pa- 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 by Yitzhak. By Yitzhak Ovinu, he had Pesach night and Rotten Kippa night the same night. So you're Machavin. There you yeah, go. It was the same. Right, that, might have been, that might have been the first time ever that that comment was made, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you saying, Akiva? Oh, is that is that same thing true when it comes to matzahs, eating different, like, minim, when it comes to, like, eating, like, let's say, oats or barley or, or you know, barley and wheat? Would you be able to have a chatzik size of a, a barley-made matzah and a chatzik size of a oh, very good. matzah? Oh, very good. So can you combine matzahs? 
That's a meaning different minimum. Uh, uh, right, different types of matzah. Mm-hmm. It's going to be about half a barley matzah and a half a uh, half a wheat mm-hmm. matzah. So that's a big shail in the paiskim of exactly what this means because some say the Rav and the Mishnayis. Right, he says if you look in the Mishnayis, he says it's going back on everything, and you could be mitzdar of them. Right, others say no. Moro can be mitzdar of matzah. You can't. Right. But there's an interesting thing by Moro, because there are some Paiskin that say you shouldn't take the horseradish, what we call horseradish, together with the leaves, even though I do that, I'm Arminic is to do that. But some Paiskin say not to do that because the tastes cancel each other out. Right? But here it seems to say that, that you could combine them, right? Which I think is where that, that Minig, Minig comes from. Okay, whatever it is. So, um, and you can be yaitza with the stalk too, with the mai. And then we had this before by matzah. With the mai, with my serish and shenatal chumasa, right? The mai is suffolk. It's, it's the food of an amaret. My serish and shenatal chumasa. My sesheni, the hektish and nifto. My sesheni and hektish that was redeemed. Okay. So, zokti gemara. Chazeres, right? A lot of, a lot of hard translations here. So, chazeres is chasa. That's uh, chasa. What, what we call lettuce. Right, um, Olshin is hin- Hindva, which they call endives, which is also some sort of, sort of lettuce. Tamcha, romaine lettuce. What? Romaine lettuce. Endive is not romaine lettuce. I said ch- like, chasa. And endive is endive. Okay, but chasa is romaine lettuce. Chasa, right? They say chasa is romaine lettuce. Although it's not, it doesn't seem that yeah, it has to be romaine lettuce. The pies can buy in other space of say, who says romaine lettuce? It could be you could take plain old lettuce. Or Byron used tuna fish lettuce. Mm. What's tuna fish lettuce? Regular lettuce that people used to eat for tuna with tuna fish. Now uh-huh. you're not allowed to eat lettuce because you, you found bugs in it. But people right. used to eat lettuce. They would and then take who, who named it tuna fish it. lettuce? Oh, it was the did. first time in my oh, okay. life I've ever heard tuna fish lettuce. So we're, we're on a roll tonight. So Talking about iceberg fish. lettuce? Casino <laughs> yeah, yeah, Farms, you're going to see it. Tuna fish lettuce. It means, he means yeah, Aaron's, Aaron's tuna fish lettuce. <laughs> He's, it's going to be in the footnotes of his gabari. His like, grandchildren are going to see tuna fish lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> so far, two chedushim tonight, Givaldic. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, so I, yeah, it seems like regular lettuce. I, Rabar and Taka use regular lettuce? Tuna yeah. lettuce? Interesting. Yes. Okay. It probably wasn't easy to get Romaine lettuce. I think they said Boston, Boston lettuce. I think that's what they said. Boston lettuce. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was regular lettuce. Regular lettuce. So iceberg lettuce does not leave you with a, with a bitter taste at the end. Uh, does Romaine? Does Romaine? Sure it does. Sure it does. Yeah. All right. You get the bill? What's you get the, the bill? Right? The bill Rabbi, for sure leaves me a bit of taste, yeah. but then matzah too. <laughs> Rabbi, da- Rabbi Davis told me he used to use straight and only endives. Uh huh. I wouldn't even know it's, what an endive was staring me right in the face. It, what is it? Looks, it looks chicken? like a miniature romaine lettuce. It looks like if you if you shrunk a romaine lettuce to like baby size. Right, right. It says here in the footnote in the art scroll, although lettuce does not have a bitter taste, it is nevertheless demurrer. And even preferred, as the Gemara below will assert, because when left to grow, the leaves become tough and bitter. See Yerushalmi. Yeah, right. So Yerushalmi, that, that's what the Pais can quote to Yerushalmi, that the Yerushalmi says that it's nothing to do with it. Eventually, we'll be bitter. We just t- pick it early. Right. Uh-huh. Very good. So that's what they bring? Very good. Okay, so we'll see that later in the Gemara. Fine. So then, Ulshin is Hindavi Tamcha Amara Rachana Tamachta Shema. Its name is Tamachta. Okay, Har Chavina Amara Shema Lakish. Atzavsa the Dikla, that goes on the uh, around the palm tree, right? That it's some sort of zrayim that goes around. Ratoisa says it's mina zrayim that goes around the the seeds that go around the palm tree. I think we had that in the Gemara before. No, we had that in I think Erevin or something. The, we, had we had something like that. In, that in, in Tziak, we had it in right. Sukkah. Sukkah too. Well, I think, yeah. I think yeah, we, we had, had it. You're right, Akiva. We had it, but what was in Negea too? Erevin twenty six and. Sukkah 36. There you go. Ah, so very good. I don't know what was in the though. What was it in the gay? Was it in the gay to what types of foods you can make an Arab with, maybe? I don't remember. Okay. Very good. Uva No, it was the gay to what you make him a pizza with. I think it had what to do with the scarf, no? In Sukkah. 
Yeah, I yeah, think so. Ayrvin. What was it in Ayrvin? Ayrvin is about how if you can make a mechitza with something that falls apart. Yeah, it's, it's the same. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. same idea. Yeah. It's uh, about mechitza. I mean, as a, like yeah. a, like a, uh, it's wheat. Um, like vines. Like Ringy. vine. What do you call it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. Uva Maror, that's Marisa. Fine. Tani Bar Kapara, Elu Yurak Shadam, Yasevin Yitavaz with Pesa, Bolshin, Betamko, Harchalin, Becharchavinen, Uba Chazarin, right? Not Chazirin, <laughs> yeah, Chazar. Rav Yuda, I'm Af Olshe Sode, for Olshe Gina, for Chazaris. You could even do from the Olshin, from the endives from the field, from the garden, and Chazaris. Olshe Gina, for Chazaris. Atanali Reisha. We already said. We said that in the Reisha. What are you coming to include here? Hachikamar af ulshe sada ke ulshe gina v'chazeres. What it means is even ulshe sada, the ones from the field, are just like the ones from the garden and chazeres. Fine. Ramei Reimer af asvas v'tura umar yiror. Okay. Amar le Reb Yosi asvas v'tura echuru. They're both the same thing. Asvas and tura the same thing. Umar zehu yiror. Um, that's called Yeroya. Okay, so Tony Dvere Vishmal, Elu Yeroka Shadam Yotzim and Yedei Chavazim Pesach. These are the Yerokas that you yotzim. The Chazeres, the Olshin, Tamcho, Charchavino, the Chagrino, the Ardufin. The Yehuda, I'm an Af Chazeres Yulin, the Chazeres Galen, the Yotzim Ben. Chazeres Yulin and Galen are those, are those the same thing. The Yehuda, I'm an Af Chazeres Yulin, the Chazeres Galen, the Yotzim Ben. Af Chazeres Yulin, even Ar Kablin. Right? That's also some sort of, uh, Rashi says, also sounds like some the the what do you call it the ivy ivy the chazati I called Tamidov and I looked for all this Tamidov the Kashi Li and I looked for somebody to be, to go along with me the Loi Mitzasi and I couldn't find anybody because Shabbosik the Vnei Rebbe and Yaakov Haida Ledivrei Reb Yehuda he was my Ledivrei Yehuda I'm sorry Ledvarai he was my to my words fine Reb Yehuda I'm a Kol Shiesh like Sraf so anything that has Sraf in it. Um, so sraf is uh, sap, but it's not really sap. It's it's white. I, I don't know what color sap. I think it looks like honey. No, right. So this is uh, it's sap milky. That, the lead has milky stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. I I've, I've cut grass in the country that had white stuff coming out of it. I don't know if it was edible or not. Fine. Anything, any vegetable. Whose face is machsifin? Uh, like when you uh, somebody gets uh, how do you call it? When you embarrass somebody, right? So it gets white. call yet, which sounds like lettuce. Your tuna fish lettuce, no? That's like like a yeah. whitish. I thought your face gets white. red. No white. No, if you, no, if you go pale, beyond, pale. Beyond, it's pale. pale, it's beyond white. That's the and next. This is pale green. Endives, this is endives look more white than tuna fish lettuce. Are they? And those are more white? They are. One yeah. side looks white, one side looks green. Yeah. I'll post I'll post a picture of them. Aaron, what would you call that? What kind of lettuce is that? that endive lettuce. We we didn't have it when I ate tuna fish. He's <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's dolphin lettuce. Yeah, it's herring lettuce. Herring lettuce. No? <laughs> you had to walk um, five miles uphill to catch that tuna. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call it? What did you post of it? What did you post of, of of uh, which things did you post? I don't know. Shmuel Grossman posted it five minutes before. I didn't oh, even really look at it. Uh, okay, I looked Shmuel at Grossman it. Just posted it. I looked at it. I couldn't figure out which one of these names over here was. Okay, any vegetable that's bitter is going to have this uh, this milk stuff in it, and it's going to be white. Okay, from all from everybody, we learn from everybody that. Yerek mar yesh lo israf upon a machsifin that a bitter vegetable has like a white look to it and it has the sraf in it. So Amr of Huna halacha kacherem the halacha is like a cherem that if, as long as it has the the it's bitter a little bit and it's it's got the whitish face. Yeah, Amr of Yechonim, but they're very cool. And so I just did that. Ravino Ashkel Rav Acha. So here's the main part right here. Ravino Ashkel Rav Acha bred the Rava to have a mahadar amarisa. He was looking for more. I'm like, my what's your das here? What are you looking for? Right? You were running around looking for more. So the Maririn Tfei. 
do you looking are you looking for because you want it to be very bitter? Right? It says chazeres. Right? Meaning that's the that's the first choice. Right? Vatana Dve Shmuel Chazeres. He also learned Chazeres. The mitzvah is Chazeres. So why are you going and looking for all these other things if you just take Chazeres? So what is Chazeres? Chasa. It's lettuce, like we said before. As you said, that's uh, romaine lettuce. My Chasa. So what's a Pshat and Chasa? The Chas Rachmana Ilavan. That, that, that Hashem had Rachmana on us. Comes out according to this Pshat. Doesn't the reason to have chasa lettuce has nothing to do with bitter? It's certainly it's just strictly a play on words, sort of like the Yehiratzins from Rosh Hashanah by night, right? Am I? Am I that's that's a pshat. It has nothing to do. It doesn't have to be bitter. Be like we say, let us entertain you. Right. Of course, you say that on Rosh Hashanah if you want. Yes. Yeah. Why was? Mitzrayim compared to Mara, loy melach ma Mara zeshes tilase raf the soif kasha. So this Mara at the beginning is soft and the end is hard. Af Mitzrayim tichlas and rachav the soif and kasha. So so too Mitzrayim at the beginning is soft and the end is kasha. Amar le hadribi. So he said, I'm I changed my mind. So the bottom line is is now the maskonas hagemara seemingly is that Mara does not have to be bitter. Right, that's 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 what's coming out over here. Fine. So I'm going to lay Rav Wait, that's what's or, coming out? Or, or, or Chasa has a particular reason why it doesn't have to be bitter. But Chasa was the first choice. Right. Uh, but, so, but, but bad to me really has to be... Why are you saying that? He better. Lost so Chasa is a different... Everything Losing else you. is bitter. Everything else is bitter, but the bottom line is the chas is the first is the first choice, which is I think the meaning of Rav Kla Yisrael, right? Rav Kla Yisrael take takes lettuce, right? Not the horseradish. I mean, they have the horseradish there, but you know, but most people are being yoyt to the mitzvah with lettuce, as far as I know. You know, when I was younger, everybody had horseradish. Yeah, maybe because of the bugs and lettuce. I don't know. But that, I mean, if anything, the bugs and lettuce now is worse. No. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't remember lettuce being very popular. Yeah. When I was a lettuce. Interesting. Interesting. But doesn't okay. doesn't he you have lettuce? I have both. I personally eat both. But uh, no. But you had it at the table when you were younger. Yeah. Yeah. As far as I remember, I don't have such a great memory though. But as far as I remember, what do you, you say? You got to have a lot of horseradish to be yotze though. If you're just doing it on horseradish. No, it's not really because you you squeeze it down. It's not. It's not as much as you think. What do you say? Yes, it's like a shot. Jesse, doesn't that if you're so having okay. real horseradish, a is shot it, is a lot. Well, that's no, it's have. not that much. It's not that that's bad. That's what I have. Not that. It's bad. not that. It's really not that bad. Yeah. And well, it depends grade, how strong you make it. it. When I come back from it also, school, if you, I, yeah, if you grade, I grade it, it after the Meyer before. The yeah, day. but I'm not talking about graded. I'm talking about chunks of horseradish. No, that would be crazy. It's a macho. That's thing. what I'm saying. It's hard to have a shear. I use it depending on how I was that year was the size of my piece of horseradish. No, but you grate it. You grate. You grate the horseradish. We never did. We used to eat it like a carrot. Are you serious? Conservative You're a real man. You're a real man. Rib Mitzarebbe did that. Yeah, Rib Mitzarebbe. Yeah, and you don't sow Yeah. Wow. Sheesh. That's crazy. That, they they to... mixed up Yom Kippur and uh, Pesach again. With the evening, <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. I think there was I a lot of mix up back then. I think I would sign up for Yom Kippur before biting into a horseradish, personally. I think so. But I don't know. What do you say, Binyamin? What do you How want to say? How do you ask? get the Chayem that the Haggadah says, uh, if you're eating chasa? It's very nice that the chasa is supposed to remind us of the chas rachmana ilon. But how do you get, uh, you know, that's what we're saying. In the no, but it fits. No, because here, right. So it's, uh, what's the Lashon and Haggadah? I hear you, it's a good question. What, the Lashon and Haggadah is what? Right. I mean, Shem, it, it, right. So right. So here, on the way, it's also Shem, saying, Shem. saying, here also the Gemara is not denying that. So that's the way they made our lives in tomorrow. 
The pasuk is vayemaru is chayehem. The same, almost the same words. Right. So it's right. So it's saying that maru chayehem, meaning they were soft on us initially, and then they came down hard on us. That's all in a piece of lettuce. That it starts <laughs> off to the end. <laughs> it's all in that lettuce. It's all in that lettuce. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, that's but that's what it seems like. That's that has nothing to do with being bitter. In the end of the day, it has nothing to do with being bitter. Actually, well, the, well, other maros are bitter. So there's obviously there's multiple pshatim here that you have to say. That's that's really yeah. what it is. But the gemara, <clears throat> this yeah, is like you said, rogue Yisrael uses what rogue people using lettuce anyway, so it's not bitter. Right. So then, they're right, going but is it pshat? <clears throat> they're going with this pshat. Right, Isn't everyone wants shot? to say that romaine lettuce. We were just talking about at the beginning of the chabura. People are saying that romaine lettuce really is bitter. It's not bitter. It has nothing to do with the, the lettuce. It's isn't bitter. The lettuce is soft and hard. Or right. you right. could have marisa, which is the marar, and that is bitter. But I, I think to, for people to say that romaine lettuce is bitter, I don't think it is. And therefore, you could have your tuna fish lettuce. Well, you have no, you have. but but isn't the shot with the with the romaine lettuce that the longer the lettuce is attached to the ground, it gets bitter? That's what it's. That's when, the when, That's the Yushan right, when, the it. Right. When, the the farmers take up. it out at midpoint, but if they took it out too early, it's sweet because that's how it started with Yaakov and the Shem Nafesh. It was sweet in, in Mitzrayim, and then it got harder as it went on. The longer the lettuce stays in the ground, it gets bitter. Taka will get bitter. So why does no one keep it in the ground longer so we can actually have bitter murder? How has no yid figured out this market? Well, you don't need it because according to this Gemara, you don't need it. You don't need it to You don't need it. It's not necessary. If we romaine on this topic, I'm going to get more bitter. Very good, Parrots. You're on the ball tonight. That was the best line since I joined this year. <laughs> Doctor, they give you a run for your money on that one. Um, Leo, what do you say? If, if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't know if you. I'm assuming you heard this. The Spartan don't use horseradish at all. I think they hold that you can't. It's not. It's not kosher for Mara. They're all right. They're all. I don't know. Is that what they? Spartan, I think. Pizza? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because I mean, if you go with the Gemara, so it's it's chasa finished, right? You go with this Gemara, the Bavli. We go with the Bavli. It's chasa. And even the Shami's marshal like that. Let All us right. fun. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna lay Hadri B. So he said I was Khaiza. Fine. I'm gonna lay Rukumila by me. My dahai mora min yoraku, min yaraku. How do you know mora is a vegetable? Ama mirusa de kufya. Why don't we say that it's mirusa of kufya? Right? So uh, what do you call it? That's the mora of the dog, Rashi says, of an, an, a fish named kufya. It's the, how do you call it, the mora? The spleen? The mora? Uh, he huh, says the gall, mean? the gall, the gall. Okay, the gall of the fish, or something in the intestines of the fish. Bit of gall, gall. Bit of gall. Is that so? <laughs> okay. That's the same. Bit of I, that's, is that maybe taco? So I say, do me the matzah. You know, it's similar to matzah. My matzah can do like karka, just like matzah grows from the ground. Obviously, the matzah doesn't grow from the ground. The wheat that you make the matzah grows from the ground, just in case anybody thought matzah grows like gold. Like a gold, you know, you get you mine the gold, so you don't mind matzah, you know, you, whatever. Anyway, it just appears matzah, on the table. Yeah, correct. Yeah, with after a lot of and what disappears from your wallet. Yeah. So ma matzah gedule karka, af mor gedule karka. So just like matzah grows on the ground, so more also is going down. Okay, for aim a hirduf. So maybe it's it's hirduf, some sort of tree, right? Which uh, um, Rashi says that that's the the wood. That was bitter that Moshe used to put it into the what do you call it in the May Mara and it made the May Mara sweet. Right? No, it's similar to matzah. Matzah means Rayim. Af Mara means No, matzah comes from seeds. So Mara also has to come from seeds. Right? I don't know the seeds is not the right type. It means uh, from growth. Right? I'm sorry. Excuse me. If it had, if it had, uh... If it's from Moshe Rabbeinu, then they wouldn't have had it on Pesach Mitzrayim. Why? What do you mean? The first, they, they, were, they, they, they weren't in the Midba. They were in Mitzrayim, the Pesach Mitzrayim, the first pe Pesach. Right, but I, I don't think that they... I mean, it's just, it's just using it as what an, a sample of what it is. That doesn't mean that they have to have it then. Just that that's what the type of more... Right? 
Okay, Vayma, here's the fee. Also a type of uh, type of uh, vegetable, right? Rashi says that here's the fee is, is what he call a behema will die if it eats it. Do me the matzah. Right, so it's compared to matzah. My matzah she nekeches because of meiser. Af mar she nekeches because of meiser. So my matzah can be taken with meiser money. That doesn't mean meiser ksofim. That you're not allowed to take matzah with meiser money, right? Um, it means meiser shemi. So af mar she nekech because of meiser. So mar also has to be taken with kesef meiser, and it has to be something that's edible. And nobody eats this hirzefu stuff, so therefore it can't be that. Amalei rava bar of chana labaya ema mar chad. What's this hekish for matzah tomorrow? Al matzah simaroyim no. We should compare carbon pesach to it too. So the carbon pesach should be a tree now. Well, no, it says al matzah simaroyim yechlu. Yechlu what? The carbon pesach. The carbon pesach is what it is, but the two things that you eat with the carbon pesach should have should should have some some common things about them. That's what I would say. Yeah. Uh, Gershi, how, how, Gershi, if you want to be technical, Rabbi Yaakov, we, we, the Gemara Navoy de Zara says the first animals came popped out of the ground. So you could say the sheep popped out of the ground. It's a Badaf Gimel who dialed it in, in uh, Avoy de Zara. Right. I hear you. We're only allowed to use sheep that popped out of the ground? I didn't say, I said the sheep are also pop out of the ground. And the, well, that was the first, the first sheep. The first, yeah. no, so the first. Yeah. The, that's yeah. It. So, right. so hydroponics would be a problem? Yes, hydroponics would be a problem. Very good. That's a good point, doctor. Yes. I, I don't think you could be yoy tomorrow with hydroponics. Hydroponics means that they don't grow in the ground. They grow in water. As far as I know, the place can say you cannot be yoy hydroponics. You make a shahakal, according to many Paiskim, on, on hydroponic isn't, vegetables. Isn't the bodek, isn't the bodek stuff hydroponic? Is it? I don't know. I thought some of no. it was. No, it's not. not. Bodek not? is regular checked lettuce, officially washed, this, that. I don't even think they check no. it. Maybe, maybe positive. I don't know. Either way. So the Gemara says, Ema Moror Chad. This is an interesting kasha here. What is, what, what is this question here? Because we went through about, I don't even know how many different options for Mara. So now the Gemara seems to be asking, maybe it's only one type of Mara. So the Gemara says, Meroirim, right? So Meroirim means you have a lot of, there's a lot of Mara's, right? But Rashi here, on the first wide line, when the Gemara is asking, the name of Mara Chad is saying, Mara Shebekulon, you should take the most bitter of all of them. We just got finished saying that you don't necessarily have to take the most bitter. Right, chasa, because it has to do with the, you know the play on words with chasa. Okay, whatever it is, but the Gemara thinks maybe you should only take one mar. Gemara says meraiim plural. Aim a meraiim tray. So meraiim usually when we darshim psukim, when it says a plural, we say it as two. We don't say more than two. Aim a meraiim tray. Do me the matzah. So now we're back to comparing it to matzah. Ma matzah mean in harbe just like matzah, you have five different types of grains that you can be used. Af mar mean in harbe. So so too mar two. So you could ask so maybe we should only have five. Limited to five, right? So limited to five. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Fine. I think that's it's meaning. I think the reason why matzah is limited to five is because those are the only types of grains that you have. The other ones that you have is a machlaik, it's rice and and whatever it is. But those are, you're limited to five only because that that's what's out there. So mutter, you could take whatever whatever your options are, regardless of the amount. Our Mishnah okay. does actually only list five. What? That's true, Taka. You're right. You're right. That's true. But the Gemara says, I get the truth is that all the Gemaras are really a subcategories of it's in the Mishnah. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Okay, Vaiter. Amar Rav Barav. Huna Amar Rav. Yeraka Shomru Chacham Shadam Yaitu Eni Dei Chabas and Pesach Kula Nizrayin Baruga Achas. They could all be planted in one Aruga. If anybody remembers from Shabbos, we had this of how how many vegetables can you plant within a uh, what do we call aruga again? Uh, a flower bed. Row. Like a flower bed, right? How many things, how many different vegetables, a patch, right? that's a good word, right? How many, how many vegetables can you plant in a patch, right? Because for climb purposes, it's a problem to just, you can't do unlimited amounts, got to be six tochem away, et cetera, et cetera, right? So you allow, but more the Gemara is saying right now, at least, that you can do it all in one. So the Gemara says, the less boom, 
Anything that goes under the category of Mara does not have Klayim, and you can just crossbreed. So Masav Rava, Chazeres for Chazeres Galen, Ulshin for Ulshe Sada, Krishin or Krishay Sada, Kaisbar for Kaisbar Sada, Chard for Chard on Mitzri, Udalas on Mitzri for Hermutza. Einam Klayim Zevazet, they're not Klayim with each other. So Gemara Smashma Chazeres for Chazeres Galen, Ein In Chazeres for Ulshin Loyz. It sounds like Chazeres for Chazeres Galen. That has no claim, right? But chazeres for ulshin, which are two different types, loy. The chit, right? So that it sounds like that there is such a thing as claim amongst the different moros. But if you're going to say that each one is taught together, meaning um, you're allowed to plant them, each one, it doesn't mean this one and this one and this one and that, meaning it's just that's just the, the way the, the, the Gemara lists it. The way the Brisa lists it, but it doesn't mean that they all have to be separated. It means that you can go with, with you can mix them all together. But Amar Rav Zuga Zuga is Katani. You know, Rav says no. It's each pair. If the Gemara means to say that you can plant the two pairs with each other or one pair with each other, you can't plant two pairs with each other. So don't think that we just put together the whole Brisa. So clearly, we see from the Brisa that there is such a concept of crossbreeding all the different types of Maras. So Gemara answers, "Mine is Ryan." Amar Rav, "Is Ryan kill Chasan?" No, it means that they could be planted if you keep the halacha, meaning you have to make sure you plant it far enough away from each other that they don't that they don't um, crossbreed. So kilchas and tanina, what do to say that we learned we have to do it properly? That already we learned on Talmud Beis Aruga. If you have a patch, she she shall she should tvachim that six tvachim by six tvachim zarin b'saycha chamisha zarin. And if you plant it correctly. Even though it's only six tochem by six tochem, you're you would be able to plant five different types of vegetables there. So you can plant one in each direction on all four corners of the box, and then one in the middle. So ma, so that you see very clearly that uh, we already know the halachas of it. So what are you saying? Uh, why are you telling us that you have to do la halachas? So ma, the same hani mi Maybe that's only by Israel. I will be raucous loy, but maybe vegetables. You wouldn't be able to do that because vegetables need a lot more. They 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 need a lot more nourishment from under the ground. So therefore, vegetables it's too close together to plant to plant five different types within six tefachim and six tefachim. Come on, shulon. It's coming. You just know that vegetables and zrayim, leafy things, whatever it is, seeds can all be planted in within one patch. So Gemara says, "Lameim or the yirakus alimim Israelim." Do we say that vegetables are stronger, meaning that they they take more? I mean, we have a havamina that vegetables take up more nourishment from the ground than zroyim. Vatanan komin zroyim ain't zarim baruga achas. All types of zroyim you're not allowed to plant in a patch. Komin eirok is zroyim baruga achas, and but vegetables you can plant in one patch. So you see clearly that vegetables take less. From the ground, they need less room than the zroyim. So the Gemara answers, "Mal the same ahani mara min zroyim no." So we would have thought that zroyim. Now we're changing the havamina. The havamina we thought that yurakas take more, more, more nourishment, and now we're saying no, yurakas take less. But you would think that mara is zroyim, and therefore it would take more kamash malon that it does not. So you could plant them as long as you plant them properly, you could put them all together. So zroyim saka daitok. Do you really think that zroyim are are what do you call? It? You think that mara is considered zroyim? Vanan, vatanan yurakus. We said vegetables. Vatani bar kapara yurakus. Vatani bar tveishmu yurakus. Right? It says vegetables. It says elu yurakus that you chayev. Right? And we bring a few proofs that is that everybody refers to the vegetable from to mara in as yurakus, not zroyim. Should have said veilu zroyim that you yotze. Says veilu yurakus. So chazeres it's trichli. No, you need chazeres. You need the chiddush is chazeres. Since, like we said, that chasa is going to eventually get hard, so therefore you have to give it more space. Um, so, yeah, so you would think you give it more space. So they have Kamash Malan, they're not. So Gamar says, But what about a kelach is a stalk of a kruv? Uh, what's kruv again? A cabbage, shokshu, that got hard. You give it a uh, a base roiva, a roiva of a kav. 
right? Which means it's a lot more than six tefachim. Alma kibin the seifel lahakshes yavini leravachot fei. So you see that since it's gonna get hard, it needs more space. So here too. So if you do the kelach shokruv, needs more space. So here too, the chasa would also the chazeres would also need more space. Kamash malam. We're teaching you that it doesn't need any more space than any other vegetable, and as long as you plant it halachically correct in a patch, then you're okay. Fine. So yaitzim and bein lachem innovation. So we said that your yaitzim with these with the with the morors, all these different options. Whether they're they're fresh or whether they're dried out. So I'm going to the or the This is only by the stalk. lachin in yevation. I'm sorry, ba'olin, but by the leaves, lachin in if they're wet, if they're fresh, then yes, yevation. Lo, if they're dry, then not. But when it's in the sefer, it says you can use their stalks. Mechlal the reisha olin. It's mashma that in the reisha it's talking about leaves, right? So and here it was saying that the olin is is doesn't work if it's yavish. So Gemara says Prusha come farish. It's coming to explain, right? Kikatani bein lachem and yavish are When we said that lachen, it makes no difference whether the vegetables are wet or they're dry. Is going on the kelach on the stalk. Fine. So meisve yoytze yoytze behen uva kelach shalen you with the with the vegetables and with the stalk. Pain lachem ben yivation, whether they're wet, whether they're dry. Divi remei, but chamerim lachem yoytzim ben yivation in yoytzim ben. Chamerim disagree with our Mishnah. Right? Clearly, our Mishnah is remei, because he says you yoytza with them and the kelach shalan, whether they're wet, whether they're dry. Chamerim lachem yoytzim ben yivation in yoytzim ben. If they're wet, you yoytza. Dry, you're not. B'shavin, and they both agree. She yoytzim ben kmushin that you are yoytza when they get uh, kmushin, uh, worn out, like uh, withered. Have a like fusion, but if they're but not when they're kavush, they're uh, um, soaked. But like shlukin, and not when they're heavily cooked. But like with shalin, not not partially cooked, not partially, but plain cooked. Klalas shadaver, kol sheyesh by tamara yoytzim by anything that has that has a taste of mara you yoytzim by kol sheyesh by tamara in yoytzim by. So whatever it is, what do you see that Remeir says? Yoytzin bahen uba kelach shehen whether they're shalahen whether they're wet or whether they're dry so clearly it means it means both leaves and the stalks and one answer is terguma kelach no Rameir is just talking about the stalks right but the leaves cannot be dried out yeah which is pretty much what uh, what we paskin like right you know you can't have dried out leaves they have to have some moisture to it fine Torah and yoytzin bahen kamushin. You're not yaitza when they're withered. Mishum Rebbe Lezer from Tzadok Amaru yaitza men kamushu. You are yaitza when they're withered. Fine. Now we have a familiar Gemara. Boy, is the third time we're going to have this. Boy, Rami Rechama. Ma'ar she yaitza adam yidei chavasa but maror shal maisa sheni b'rushalayim. Can you be yaitza with maror with maisa sheni b'rushalayim? So I'll leave it to Rebbe Kiva loyti boyloch. But according to Rebbe Kiva, there's no question. Hashta b'matza deraisa nofik. If by matza, which is a deraisa, Rebbe Kiva holds that you can be yaitza with maisa sheni b'maror derabon on me boy. Do I need to ask by Mara the Rabbana? Mara the Rabbana for sure is you're going to be Yotzeb. Yotzeb derives to my Sashani, so Mara for sure. The Rabbana for sure. Kiti Bailach, a libid of Yoseg Lili. The Shaila goes according to Yoseg Lili. My, the Matzah derives to the Loy Nofik. So he holds that maybe Matzah by my Sashani, you're not Yotzeb. Of a Mara the Rabbana, Nofik by Mara that it's a Rabbana, and maybe you are Yotzeb. I do my call the Tikino Rabbana, can't derive to Tikon, whatever the Rabbana made a Takana. They made a Takana like a Daraisa. And therefore, you wouldn't be yaitz with that either. So my rabbi mustavra matza umaror. So rabbi says mustavra that you're it's matza and maror. Now I don't know if that means that he's coming from like we compare matza and maror. Sounds like it. I had the same hekish we were saying that you compare matza and maror. So he's saying the same thing here. So just like matza, you could be yaitz with maisa sheni. So so too maror. Fine. Okay. It now to be partial to the gemara that that uh, vegetables are five in maisa sheni. True. Again, you're right. It's another raya. Right, look, Rabban was saying yesterday. Yeah, that's another raya, that it's not just... That was fruit. Now it's vegetables also, yeah. I mean, right, right, right. And that was asterisk. Yeah, very good. I, very I, don't good. Also, I don't understand this concept. Called the taka and Rabbana, can, can do I say Whenever the Rabbana made a takona, right? So meaning they're going to say that <sighs> the, the when whatever rules apply to the Rabbana, then they're going to they're gonna base it on a derisa. 
right? When when did they go up to Yerushalayim with Meister Shani so they did not bring a carbon Pesach? What do you mean? Gullus, they went up to Yerushalayim with Meister Shani. They went up to Yerushalayim for the base of Mikdash. Right. They didn't bring a carbon Pesach, so why is it Durabanan? Why is the Mara Durabanan? Mara is Duraisa with the carbon Pesach. You're saying that. So it's Durabanan uh, now. What do you. What? <laughs> He's talking about my Sashemi. They went oh, up so to Yerushalayim. You, you, want, you want to know in history if they ever had my Sashemi without Kabbalah Pesa? No, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. We don't mean Mara de Rabbana. I might have said it like that, but thank you. That's incorrect. If I said it that way, I apologize. Mara nowadays is the Rabbana. It's, Mara is my Sashemi on Mara is a de Rabbana. Right? Vegetables is not a deraisa to take off my sashimi. Chumas and mice is on vegetables, right? So it's really fruits. Vegetables, so, midrabbonon. So we're saying, yes, yeah, so that's midrabbonon. You only chayiv to take my sashimi from my, from, uh, you only chayiv to take my sashimi off of vegetables, midrabbonon. So we're saying if a deraisa, my sashimi, we're letting you use matzah, right? So no, we are letting you use for matzah. You're letting, you're letting you use my sashani, right? So for a mitzvah, drop, correct. The, right. The wheat, the wheat is not. The wheat is a you chayiv my sashani mit daraisa. So the vegetables is chayiv my sashani mit rabbanon. Yes, thank you. That's a that was a good good uh, good clarification. Yeah. Okay. Rashi does bring down. Rashi does bring down that that there's a tzad that is talking about the din of mar being mit rabbanon. He does bring that sad down. Yeah, okay, right. But and then he, yeah. he's he's mantled. He said it doesn't make sense. Well, when you have right, and you also have Gershon's Kasha. Yeah, yeah, right. Um yeah. Um fine. Okay, good. So now now we start now. Now we're back to matzah. Zok the Mishnah. Ain't sure us a mursin latana going. You're not allowed to soak. Mursin is 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 bran, right? Right, it's the junk part of the wheat. So you now let us soak them for the Tarnagalam on Pesach, because we're afraid that it's going to become chametz. Have a cholten, but you are allowed to, you know, make them very hot. Yeah, because that will make it not become chametz. Uh, Isha, a woman it's likes. Not, it's not. You're afraid it's going to become chametz. It's bad. They're going to become chametz. No. What? It's not bad. They're going to become. It's going to become chametz. It's not a bad. It's not a bad. It's not. Uh, um, it's it's because it? it's it depends what part of the the stalk it is or whatever it is, not the stalk. What do you call it? The chaff and all that stuff. Uh huh. The husk. Is it the husk? Part of it. Only the kernel is machmetz. And right. So what exactly is this? It grows around the kernel. Ah, so then it's a Shiloh, whether that itself could become chametz, or whether it's gonna you could have wheat attached to it that would also that might become chametz, uh-huh. right? Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of yeah we're gonna see in the Gemara a lot of a lot of interesting things about. Uh, obviously, the Metzias must have changed, or would just end up being very machmer nowadays, right? Abu Cholten. No, he make- brings here from the from the rush. That we're no longer expert in how to scald grain without causing it to leaven, and therefore in practice we do not permit it. So that's that's of Cholten, right? That's by Cholten. Yeah, the Shulchan Aruch, the Shulchan Aruch discusses it, right? And he says that we don't know we don't know any of these things anymore. So that's why. But Cholten theoretically, if you burned it, then it would not it would stop it from becoming chametz, right? So fine. So Aisha like Tishra as a Mursan A woman should not soak. Bran to take with her to the base of Merchutz. Obviously, we did some sort of. Uh, um, um, so yeah, they use it on this. I guess it's soap. Or right? debilitory. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Avoshafa he hipsari yavish, but she could rub it on her dry skin, which Rashi says it means um, even though her skin is still wet, that's fine. I mean, it doesn't, her skin doesn't mamash have to be dry. She can wash her body, and then she can rub the soap on it. 
Lo yilois adam chitin. A person can't chew wheat. V'yaniach hamakasa and put it onto his cut. Nei shein machmitzas because that's going to become chametz. Right. So because the saliva, what we're saying the chiddush is here that saliva can make chametz. Meaning we learned already before a couple of blad ago that may peris don't make chametz. Right. Fruit juice does not make chametz. Water does make chametz. So where does saliva fall into it? So the sweat. Oh, sweat. Sweat doesn't know. make hummus either because the lady could be sweating. No, I don't know. Does it? Did we discuss sweat? I thought we discussed it. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know. I don't remember. I have it written down from seven years ago. That's Taka? What. Yeah. <laughs> I hear. Um, it's not very appetizing, Shaila, but yeah. What about um, filtered urine? What? What about filtered urine that they now can create urine and create it into liquid. I don't know, Peretz. I don't ever heard of it, so... <laughs> You're in trouble. Let's go on. <laughs> I think they do that in, in uh, the spaceships, in the space station. Are you serious? I think yep. so. Wow. That's why Peretz thought of it. I hear. Wow. Okay. Ton of now so another that's reason why that's going to be the latest roles on Pesach you're going to be able to have. Sheesh, parrots. Oh, okay. me after class. It's just distilled. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely 100% water. Uh -huh. Interesting. Another reason why I'm not an astronaut. Yeah. Okay. So, well, parrots, you could drink scotch and urine, parrots. You could have scotch and urine <laughs> instead of scotch <laughs> and water. Yeah. It looks the same. <laughs> okay. I think we move on now. All right. So, turn around, Bonner. Where does so where does Gabrux come from? It, it, oh, we well, see very good. specifically. We're right. gonna, it's it's going to come more into tomorrow's stuff, but today this next line right here in the Gemara seemingly set, takes Gabrux and turns it right on its head. These are the things that can't become chametz. Ha'afu is something that's baked, and it's something that's cooked, and something that we said gets... Uh, Burnt, whatever, heated up. Shechaltu b'raisin that got heated up in very hot water. So Gemara says, "Vushel, what? How can you? How can you? If you cook chametz, right? It becomes uh, right. Meaning it's gonna before it gets heated up, before it gets cooked, it's gonna become chametz, right? So Amar Papa no ha'afu should bishlu kamer. What we mean is something that gets baked that you cook afterwards cannot become chametz." Right? What that sounds exactly not like your broth. Right? Once something gets baked, you put it into hot water, it cannot become, it can't make hummus. Right? So that mama sounds like not your broth. So, as a preview, before we get to the end of this, uh, tomorrow, but, Hashem, but basically what the most of the say is that that's true, but we're chayshed sure that there's unbaked flour in your matzah. So then it's not really baked. Right? Now the Gemara doesn't, doesn't have that chashash, so okay, but we'll have to see. Tanya, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yudaimer, Kemach Shanafal Asoichid Delef. This is also very interesting. Then, if you have flour, that water is dripping into it. Afilu Kolay and Kula, even if it's the whole day, Enibali Dechimutz, it will not come to Chametz because since it's dripping on top of it, it's going to prevent it from from uh, becoming Chametz, right? So Amar Rabbi Yudah, Rabbi Tif Lahadi Tif. It has to drip. It has to be drop after drop. It can't just, you know, it can't just be a, a slow drip. It has to be one after the other. Amri the of Shila Vesika Shari. So Vesika, right? Some sort of food, right? Rashi says it's a food made of made out of wheat. Is mutter Vatanya Vesika. Also, we have a bride that says Vesika is also like Kasha. Hot Avde Bemishro Milcha. One is talking about where it was made with oil and salt. Hot Avde Bemayo Milcha. One is talking about with water and salt. Right, so so oil and salt, like we said, that's not going to make it into chametz. Water and salt will make it into chametz. Amar Marzutra, loy limchi inish kadeira bekimcha davishna. A person shouldn't make a food thick with um, 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 wheat that was dried in the oven. Dilma loy bashel shaver because maybe you didn't bake it properly, didn't cook it properly. Basili de chametz, and then it's going to come to chametz, and now that. Sounds a little bit like um, Gibrachts, right? Where there's a chashash that it wasn't properly baked, and therefore you add it to the food, and then it's going to make going to make chametz. But it's that's not yeah. referring to matzah. It's not that's referring with to raw matzah. flour. 
Right, right. That's not right. So it's not referring to matzah that's baked. Um, fine. Where's okay. the Gemara about using dishes on the last day? Where's that Gemara? Oh, I have no, and I don't think that's a Gemara. <laughs> I don't think we're finding that. I don't think we're finding that Gemara. Yeah, okay. I guess we could stop here for tonight. Fine. Good night, everybody, and then uh, enjoy. Oh yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll have to see tomorrow about the about the there's different there's one Gemara tomorrow that sounds like it's Mashma that for Gabroch, so at least one side of the Gemara. But yeah. Well, the Gemara says the cream cheese is also no the Gemara is not gonna talk about cream yeah, it's mutter for ladies, it's also for men mutter for ladies. But I'm curious, don't don't you have to be able to see the wheat to note for it to be there near the eye, and it's gotta be there. What what's with all the chumras of things you can't see? Um, what do you mean? No, you can't it's... have it because what if there's a little bit of wheat there that wasn't cooked? If I can't see it, it's not there, Halakha. Unless we're going to say Chumr Pesach. No, Mashihu. Mashihu is also from Pesach. That's been the Raisa. Um, but no, it might, it might have, um, what do you call it? Not wheat. What do you call it? Flour. Inside it, you could potentially see, you just, don't happen to catch it, no? So then why, just like Svartim or all wacko with the rice, why wouldn't we have to actually inspect our matzahs like we do to make sure that the outsides are nice and crispy? Why shouldn't we just inspect the matzah? And if you see it, then it's a problem. If you don't see it, it's not a problem. People do. People do inspect. Yes, be careful this. what you suggest. They're going to start putting every matzo through a CAT scanner now. <laughs> some people some people do a CAT scan on their esrug. Yep. Okay, yeah. there's wackos everywhere. Oh, hold on. What, but, what, what um, they CAT scan their esrug so they could see the seeds to see if it's murkov. But do we really have to go to the OCD realm of wackoness? Just looking at a matzo, you'll be able to see if it's flower. So, do you believe no, that after 120 <laughs> years, that person's going to get some kind of extra scar for that? I have no yeah, idea. Uh, especially if he does psych ward. Especially if he doesn't, if he charges insurance if for that it too. guy doesn't wear a mask, then you know, not that mockbit. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, doctor, if I take a, a Kruv, Aruga, an antique one, is it worth anything? Ay, ay, ay. So how can you make a matzo ball if like when you put it into the boiling hot water it's like it's it's kind of like you know makes the the chametz faster right didn't we just say that that when you put it into warm water it could be less than 18 minutes how do you in general cook anything that has let's say matzo meal or matzo and not make it it's already baked it's already fully baked what does that mean the matzah meal is already baked. That's in the. It's yeah. baked as matzah. It's not, ma it's, not, matzah. It's, not, it's not flour. It's matzah ground up. We're talking right. about flour here. That was that was that was roasted in, in an oven. The shaila is was it fully roasted as flour? Right. Are there any recipes that are like that that use or or no one ever does that now in Pesach? They're not using raw flour. What? Uh, we don't use Pesach? any flour. Yeah. Because really, you could, right? If you could make, well, you are. Can't you make matzah on Pesach? It seems like they always made matzah on Pesach. We don't. No, we don't. But uh, that's why, yes. Dude, if we, we if we, we had the Sephardi soft matzahs, we probably that's would. That's true, right? Keep right, as long. right. Like we saw last week, if we had the matzahs that were a tefach <laughs> thick, at least with the Vita Gemara's Havamina, right? Then hey, I will bake matzahs on Pesach, right? See, Akim, have you ever had the Sephardi matzahs? You also, for practicality, no, you never have, had it. You, I heard they're absolutely horrible. You could, they, they don't last more than an hour or two. You couldn't get through the first day without baking. Right, them. right. Oh, that's endives? Yeah, well, I, po I posted They sell those there. in Costco. Don't they sell those in Costco? Yeah, yeah. they sell them everywhere. Yeah. Parrots, they sell those in Costco. I don't think sure they're they do. endives. I think they're called uh, baby. Um, uh, what's it called? Radicchio. No, the radicchio is red, isn't it? It's the red version of the. Yeah, same but it thing. looks similar. Radicchio. I think no, they, they call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Baby, uh, what's other love the stuff called? What's that white one you were talking about earlier? What's it called? Baby Bellas. Baby Bellas? No, I'm kidding. That's a mushroom. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Baby so. tuna lettuce? What are you saying? What, 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 the one we use tomorrow, no? What's it called? Romaine. Oh, romaine. you're talking about Andy Boy. Yeah, so they have mini ones. They're called mini romaines. That's what that looks like that Icky posted. But that's right. endive. I posted endive. I Google it. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. like he's saying, like you said before, you said it looks like a mini romaine. It looks exactly like a mini romaine. Here, uh, nobody likes Her my cabbage patch joke. The witch, I have an antique crew of Aruga. I don't know what you're talking cabbage about. Cabbage patch, antique crew. Oh, <laughs> too much of a stretch. That's terrible. All right, whatever it is. I Parrots, I thought you were going to make a different joke about the space station. No, what's that? That, that that's real Mayim Shalanu. Oh. Sheesh. Parrots, can you stop mwah, recording two mwah, minutes ago? Mwah, mwah. <laughs>